We are rolling. We're good. Okay. We are Lovely. Nice. Lovely. Oh, this is also still recording. Okay, cool. We're going to film this now. Camera is over there. View. Sun is over there. He's over here. Okay. Welcome to the video. Welcome. Welcome to Switzerland. Welcome to St. Gallen. What's the date today? What's the location? Oh, it's Chloe's What's birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Chloe. If you're ever going to watch this. It's your birthday. She, she the we thought about you today. This morning we're sitting on the balcony and I was like, what is, I need to find pictures of you. <laughs> so I was going through my snap looking for them. So last time we did this video, we were in Uganda. Or I was in, well, we were both in Uganda. And um, it was quite interesting because it's almost a year ago to the day almost. I mean, it's a bit like yes, a month. 11 months, yeah. Um, and so much new stuff has happened and we were like, hey, it would be really cool to film kind of like an update or like every year try and film like one sit down video at least just to kind of see where are we at in life and kind of like what's been happening, what's new. Last time it was summer and I wasn't even in uni yet. You were just done in your first year, yeah. Yeah, and you had your passport stuff that you were doing. Oh, <laughs> that was horrible, my days. I was the, you got it done. The main reason I was in Uganda was because I wanted to get my, my East African passport, and it was just so, it was such a hassle. If any of you guys have ever tried to get a passport in, in East Africa, <laughs> I don't know how it is in Kenya or Tanzania, but hey, it was a hassle. Then we were at the Tuggies filming this video, and it was like, I think you're going to say un undisclosed location, or you can mute, you can beep that part. Ah, they don't know who the Tuggies are. Like, come on. Okay. It's not like they can find an address. Because that's what you said in the last video. That's true. Location. That's true. It was an undisclosed location. Now I've disclosed it. You can go find it if you want to. <laughs> go find the spot that we filmed. <laughs> last time we had this talk, I was just done with my first year. I played a lot of football, been in a lot of different teams, and I was just training there. Like every day in Uganda, with a lot of different people and whatnot, and I was like, I was waiting for my results. I was waiting for my results for the first year, mm -hmm. and we thank God I passed everything. We thank God, we thank God. We got into second year. Yeah, it was it was tough. It was tough. I'll, I'll be so real. And it made me realize that, hey, if I was to talk to first year me, first year was light, and now I'm waiting again for my second year results hoping to pass and get to third year as well mm -hmm. and pass decently mm -hmm. or even just pass, I'll, I'll take anything. <laughs> For those who don't know, I go to like Loughborough Uni and there's this massive, massive trial every year. That's like 900 or 800 players, something like that. They just go and, and, and trial for the football teams because they have like six main football teams and yeah, it's tougher than it than it sounds, but it's, it's very tough to get in. And yeah, managed to do the trials and and get into one of the teams, the fifth team. And then throughout the year, worked my way into the fourth team, started training with them as well. And then now, trying to get higher and higher. But yeah, it's been it's been such a such a good year. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, and I've got to see you a bunch. Four times. Yeah, but I feel like it's been good. Like mm -hmm. that's basically my my update i don't know is there anything else that, that i've left out you went to uganda for one day oh yeah that was crazy <laughs> who does that like what the heck i was it was so weird it was like right after i came right i think that's mainly it what about you what has happened since waiting for results yeah that was crazy it's so funny because when i watch like the video back um it's like you know i'm like yeah if I get into medical school and it was, it was like that weird, if, 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 if. yeah, it was like that weird moment or that weird time between doing the exam, which was on, I think the 7th of July last year. And then like the results coming out. And the thing is they don't tell you exactly what date they come out on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole time I was in Uganda, I was pretty like chill with it though, because I was like, I can't, I'm not going to stress for results that are not out. You know, yeah. I got back to Switzerland. I think like the second or third day I was here, it was like the 3rd of August. My aunt, like the thing is, they they send them by post. It's not email or anything, which is really crazy because, like, yeah. obviously, you know, it's we're a, kind of in the twenty first century, and I expect to send an email. <laughs> but yeah, so they sent it um, by post, and it went to my aunt's, and I wasn't living at my aunt's anymore. So then she's like, "Hey Jess, um, 
the post just got in and I was I remember I was like doing my Bible study at the time and I was writing I was at the point in the Old Testament or whatever where I was trying to write out Jesus's lineage like you know all the way back from whoever I don't mm-hmm. remember like you know David da, 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 da. so I was like I was on my iPad and I was writing it out I remember very well and then like I get this um, text from her um, I drop everything that list is still there by the way like, I never touched <laughs> it's unfinished. it it's unfinished. I never touched it again I was shaking I was like oh my day so then I went to the spot I went to, to my aunt's so I opened it up and I scanned like I don't know how it is with you when you open like those house that you're looking for congratulations yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not looking for for you know whatever else so I immediately saw like before I know blah 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 what, what would? we're happy to to okay. inform you basically and I didn't even continue reading. I just saw Zurich's <laughs> and Gallon track and I dropped and I started crying. And that was like one of the best days ever. Like I was, I, I literally told everybody. Like I told my principal, I told Mr. Jason. I told all my old teachers. I told all my friends. I told my family. I don't know. I don't think there was anyone I did not tell. But I was so, I was so, it was so amazing. Yeah, so the first semester, I think, the weather has a lot to do with it as well because it was so like cold and gets dark so quick mm-hmm. and everything it wasn't that cool and like in terms of friends it was okay was, so, it, was it what you expected no i didn't really know what to expect because it's obviously it's like my first time in like a swiss system swiss school system i think i was disappointed by how bad the lecturers were <laughs> Yeah, you heard there were teachers. <laughs> yeah, especially coming from Acacia and just having like the quality of, of like relationship with the teachers that I had there. Like with the lecturers, it was very, very impersonal. Is that the right word? Unpersonal? Yeah, impersonal. Impersonal. Well. Yeah, it was just very much not that cool. And the language was also hard and I had physics and it just wasn't really it, to be honest. But <laughs> hey, God was good and I passed that semester. With okay grades, I won't tell you when I got on it. Was, it was okay, I passed. <laughs> like kind of the mindset that has kind of changed for me, at least, is in a, in Acacia and like IGCSEs and A levels. I was very much a person of like I wanna, I wanna be the best. I wanna get the best grades. I wanna, you know, be top, top, top. And now I'm really like I'm happy when I scrape through. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm like thank you, Lord, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, th- I think that changes over time. I, maybe it doesn't, but I feel like. Because it's like a new league, mm-hmm. it takes a while to adjust. But then once you've adjusted and you know how you work, you you start to push for more. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe the playing field just keeps shifting. The, or the goalpost keeps shifting as you get better. I don't know. I've been so grateful in so many ways. Like I think people here don't really understand because when you go to school in Switzerland and you've kind of like done your high school here or whatever it's like you are almost sure that you're gonna go to university you know because it's not that expensive and it's kind of like the path has been set and for me coming from like where I've come from and just going through all the applications and you know the flight here and and putting yourself out there and being in a new country and everything I just I wake up sometimes and I go to uni and I just think like oh my days I'm literally in Zurich right now Mm -hmm. or like I'm literally I'm literally at high skate, you know, and I just smile and think this is this is so amazing. How is this life? Like I'm so grateful just for where I am and the opportunity that I've been given, you know. Like it's not easy, but it's not like it's been so hard for me, you know. Yeah. Either. Yeah. Anyway, I've talked a lot. I'm sorry. It's okay. So. <laughs> That's the whole point. Was just to. Yeah. He literally flew in. Um, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, yeah, and I had my my last exam from eight to twelve on Wednesday. So I was like in the middle of my exam, um, and he was landing, and I was like, "Oh my days, I'm gonna see him." And it was such a crazy feeling, like just handing in that paper and being like, "I'm gonna see Tal in like five minutes." Oh uh, yeah, I, was, I went from the airport to outside mm-hmm. the exam hall. It's not that far away. Mm-mm. It's like the whole process takes like fifteen minutes to get yeah. there. It was his birthday as well. Oh my days, we forgot that point. It was also your birthday. It's very interesting. Yeah. That was a great day. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of the highlights of mm-hmm. the year. It was really cool. Except the helicopter on my days. The helicopter pissed me <laughs> off. It yeah. really pissed me off. So basically we went to like Zurich. Like the, Zurich. We went to the, the lake. And we were just... I just wanted to have like a chill afternoon. And first off, the, the weather wasn't cooperating. Like it was warm. It was really hot. But like it was just not nice. Like this, you know. And then there's this helicopter landing 
next to like the beach and he kept like doing rounds for like 45 minutes right mm -hmm. it was so frustrating <sighs> anyway then we just said look let's just pick up and go home <laughs> we're in a different place now and i feel like for me next year is gonna be the biggest change mm -hmm. like because now at least last year i was looking to, to right now and it was like not so much is gonna change from my daily schedule and and whatnot but now from from now to next year it's gonna be graduation it's gonna be the first summer of complete freedom i must say i've completed education completed education you might go back for a master not soon i doubt i'll go directly after i feel like i feel like in my case going for a master straight away doesn't necessarily make sense Mm -hmm. I feel like you need to live a little mm -hmm. and know what you want. Mm -hmm. And you can always get it alongside it. something else. But yeah, hopefully next year is just full-time football. Something that would be kind of interesting um, is just kind of like, what's something that you've learned about being in a relationship for like this amount of time now? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> what have I learned for being in a relationship for at the time of this recording, like a year and a half, basically. Slightly more. Yeah, it's been a year. It's been more than a year and a half. No, not yet. A year and a half will be in July. Oh, it'll be July 15th. Mm -hmm. oh, same, mm -hmm. same thing. Um, I think I've learned to like, enjoy the little things. I don't know, it doesn't have to be the craziest day. You know what I mean, to enjoy it. Or it doesn't have to be the craziest, like literally if we just call or if we literally just have a chill night in or something like that. Chill night in. <laughs> we never have a chill night in. <laughs> yeah, we do. Wednesday we chilled. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it doesn't have to be huge. Mm -hmm. I think also to have good habits mm -hmm. in terms of like, I don't know, if if you say something that annoys me or something like that, if it's if it's small, you know what I mean. Like you just let it go because in, in life, if you get hung up over every little thing, you will just create. Um, I don't know. Just create. You know what I'm trying to say? Like like a bad feeling. Like it's not that important. You know what I'm saying? The little little things like mm -hmm. like you just let let you live. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Um, I have to say it's not been like very easy. Like it's been nice. It's ha it's been like one of the highlights I think of my life, honestly. Um, just in terms of being able to, I guess, share your life so closely with someone because we talk like a lot and you know almost everything about me. And it's also a bit different, at least for me. I don't know. I think you see a bit differently, but like being in a long distance relationship. I sometimes feel like I'm not getting the full extent of what a relationship has to offer. And that kind of bugs me sometimes because I'm thinking I could be doing something on a weekend with my boyfriend, but I can't. I have to wait four months or I have to wait three months or two months to see him, whatever, right? And then I get five days of actual chillness, you know? And sometimes it's hard for me, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. I haven't enjoyed it up to this point, I really do. I think it's really cool, and especially if you're with somebody that you like value, it's like it's kind of worth missing out on the random Friday or the yeah, you know, yeah. But that being said, I'm not gonna lie and say it's been a walk in the park. That, that's not. It's not been like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like yesterday we we back to Albon. Mm-hmm. Albon. And we were down on the way, it was crazy. Like it was blue skies, sun was beaming, not a cloud, road was free, and it was just downhill momentum like for time. It was so nice going down and, and as you start to go down you can see the lake just open up. It was it was it was such a crazy experience, but coming back it was uphill. It's like we did the downhill with the uphill. And where I'm going with this is I feel like 
the. Um, oh, now you're turning it into, <laughs> into a sermon. <laughs> um, yeah, not just the last year, but even the relationship. I feel like, yeah, it's not like she says it's not always easy, but I think it's worth it. Or well, I think the uphill is just anything, anything good. Like this review that we have, we had to bike. <laughs> yeah. We had to bike high up to get to get here. So it's like I feel like almost anything worth having, you're gonna have that uphill resistance. Like it's it's never just an elevator to the top. Mm-mm. That's true. I and mean, I feel like you can enjoy the downhill. But yeah. Yeah. It's it cycles. What do you think is touched you about yourself? I can get annoyed very easily about very small things yeah. with you more than with other people. <laughs> yeah. I think that's normal. Like, it's like having siblings, you know? It's like siblings can really push your buttons because I think you just know them. And I feel like I sometimes just expect you to act or do something in a way that you don't necessarily think of or would do like that, you know? And, and then I'm just like annoyed or frustrated. I feel like I, I do get that quite frequently and quite easily. Yeah, those bells were so long. It was 15 minutes of bells. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm so used to having my space and I'm so used to just being on my ones that like, it's really cool. And then like three days in, I'm just kind of like, I'm still really enjoying the time, but I'm like, you know, like the small things start to piss me off. Yeah, that's why, like, I feel like a marriage is so crazy because, like, that's when you're, like, you're living with somebody, just some rando, some random guy or a girl, I guess you can say. It comes a new normal, though. I feel like it gets to a point where that you're, you you become more used to that than, like, the other way. I, yeah, I guess at some point it does, and, and you, you would, it would be weird to live without the person. But, yeah, that's also crazy, marriage. Oh, my days. That's a whole topic I think it would be really interesting to talk about, but... It's nothing that we're thinking about, don't like freak out. (laughs) But I think just the fact that we are 20 now, like we are older. We're 20? We're 20. Um, And just having, I guess, or starting to have friends around us that are thinking about marriage and stuff like that. It's just interesting just to see like different people at different like walks in life, you know, and what works for them and stuff like that works what works for you yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you don't have any close friends who are getting married I think nah. I'm, I'm the one <laughs> I'm you, the one you have old people in your goals I feel like oh. people people in my age are everybody's bang I mean, around the same I mean age. my friend is 20 the one that you just okay, met okay. from like 13 to 16 you changed like physically but like a lot of things aren't changing Mm-hmm. About from 20 to 25, that's when you build stability. That's when you decide the, like the direction of your life. Mm-hmm. That's when you, I think, hopefully become stable in the things you believe. Your brain has fully developed by the time you're 25. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess. I don't know, but also, yeah, it's different for everyone. Like, like I was just saying on my birthday that. The older you get, the more you young you realize you are. Like when I was yeah. thirteen, if you, you told me you're twenty, I'll be like, "What? Wow! wow. So like, old. can you can you drive? Like, <sighs> can you?" But, he's your girlfriend. <sighs> but now it's like, like yeah. I, don't know, I don't know anything. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> there's still so much to know, still still so much to do, so and it's really it's cool. very exciting as the, at the same time scary. But like. I think even your mom said it. If you look backwards and you see like how much God has done, mm. mm-hmm. you're able to be like, you know what? I'll be alright. It'll be okay. One take, Drake. Wow. So, I yeah. wonder what what that's like. Like the day after, like your daughter or your son's born. Yeah, that is crazy. It's be like a crazy, crazy feeling. Yeah, just yeah. Having a human being that was literally like 50% you or that is 50% you, that's crazy. But I was telling my mom like, it would be really cool to have a daughter just to like see kind of like what she had through me, you know? 
or to give you would understand your mom better. Yeah, you I feel like I feel like you get a different perspective on your parents once you become parents. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I think that's really really interesting and just the love that you have. I don't think I understand the love that parents have for children at this point in my life. Yeah, like I love my mom, but I don't have the same love that she has for me. It's different. Yeah. I think you're right. You, you can only get fully get it when you're in their shoes. Mm-hmm. But but I think we maybe I don't know if we agree on it. But I think it's the closest thing to unconditional love. Yeah, like, for on sure. This. Of course, there there are parents and there are circumstances that can maybe change it. That's why I say it's the closest thing. It isn't unconditional. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, kids don't really like for a long time give you plenty of reasons to love them. Sure, they do. But like, I think. He, most of it is undeserved mm-hmm. if you know what i mean whereas mm-hmm. with somebody else like a partner or something when it becomes more on the other side it's like that's when problems start to happen mm-hmm. but with a kid it's just like that is what like you literally when they're a baby 99 percent taking maybe one percent giving so yeah <laughs> you're not really giving anything no that's true yeah let's see when we film this next this would be interesting. Any predictions? You'll Ooh. be playing for Real Madrid. <laughs> we'll see. Um, <laughs> damn, I have a year to... To, <laughs> <laughs> to become Jude's playmate. No, I don't know. What are they called? Teammate. Compañero. Um, yeah, so next time we film this video, it's in Spain. <laughs> Imagine. But yeah, predictions for next year. We'll be older, wiser. Hopefully closer to God. Yeah. Man City will probably have won the Prem again. <laughs> United will have signed a couple Chelsea's good players. Chelsea's winning the Premier League next no. year. No. Chelsea's winning no. the Premier no. League that, next there's year. No ch- you know what? <laughs> if that happens, if that happens, what, 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 do you, what do you want? What do I want? I want my trip to Greece. So no, <laughs> give, me, give me something that I can physically give you next year. That you can physically give me next year if Chelsea wins the league. It doesn't have to be big. Oh, I can even do something. You know what um, I mean? Take me out to dinner. Oh, okay. Take me out to dinner. It can be Damn. something simple. No, cut your dreads. If Chelsea wins the league. No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. So, but come on. If but it's so, pretty safe. If you're so sure that Chelsea's it's not going to It's pretty safe, but, but I'm a man of my word. You feel me? So if so, you'd have to cut them on uh, camera. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm a man of my word. Okay, so okay, I'm okay. Not, I'm not going to do that. If Chelsea win the league next year, I want you to pay 50% of my ticket to Uganda. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I don't know if I'll afford that. I can't shake on that. I don't know um, if I'll afford that. You come on. Next year you're done with uni and you can start working. Yeah. I can just start. <laughs> and then you want my first money to go to... You know how much it could be over? That could be like 600 pounds. You have to think of something. We can think about it. You can think about it. You can think about it. But it doesn't matter how long or hard you think because it won't happen. But... Uh, uh. Yeah. See, you're out my of the back. shot. My back from carrying the conversation. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> <laughs> You're actually rude. You're actually rude. Hopefully, United has been bought by the time this video comes out. <laughs> I'm tired of the glazers. Glazers out.